That's me, Rob Gerzik. Just like you, I am your general run-of-the-mill outdoorsman. This show is about documenting different hunts across the country from the perspective that most of us share. No professional film crew, no editors, no product endorsements, no bullshit. Just raw, unfiltered capturing of experiences shared between me, my friends, my family, and the camera. The good, the bad, the ugly, and the beautiful. Get ready to experience it all. Welcome to Making the Shot. This episode, we battle the heat of the Texas sun to pursue oryx, audad, and hogs. Everything is bigger in Texas, except our expectations. With all of these exotic animals running around, this hunt seems more like a dream than it does real life. <laughs> Reeling in a bass of a lifetime was the shot of espresso needed to wake back up. Now the hunt is on. This is day five, the last afternoon, and the property manager has allowed my brother and me to go on a hunt on the property alone. We have been given the go ahead to harvest any of the following species, audat, hogs, and oryx. But the oryx comes with a caveat. It needs to be a male and it needs to have a broken horn. But only one of these animals exists on the entirety of this 22,000 acre property. Even though this is a needle in a haystack, it was my mission to try and harvest this animal all week long. After checking up on a watering hole, we think we spot the fabled broken horned oryx. But we need to close the distance to confirm that this is actually true and that the heat isn't just playing tricks on our eyes. We start stalking through the brush, but the progress is slow. Everything, and I mean everything in Texas, is out to get you. And the brush is no exception. We carefully dance our way through the thorn thickets and cactus spines, inching our way towards our target. In situations like this, I take off my pack to provide a stable shooting platform in case I need to make a quick shot. A gust of wind comes, and we move forward once more. It's tough to make out the target through the tangle of young trees in front of me, as we still haven't confirmed if this oryx is an acceptable one to harvest. After determining that this oryx has a broken horn, it's now time to identify the sex of the animal. We keep sneaking forward while we have some white-tailed deer bedded about 50 yards in front of us. After repositioning, my brother and I are in a prime position to make the call on this oryx.
After some time feeding, this orc decides to make its way directly towards us, but the wind is good, so we wait. This oryx makes its way to about 15 yards away from us before we can finally determine the sex, female. As we cannot harvest her, there's nothing else to do but sit back and watch this creature in all of her majesty. But soon, the wind swirls. She catches our scent and heads back to the safety of the thorns. We turn to the right and notice another creature about 20 yards away from us, a Barasinga. This deer is a native of India, and little did we know the rarity of it. There are only about 800 of these animals left in their native ranges. The wind swirls and she smells us. And then comes the dreaded alarm bark. This is an extremely inopportune time as about 90 yards away, three odd ad comes drilling through. They hear all the commotion and stop scanning for danger. It's now or never.
boy out. How's it feel? That's nice. Even better than the first one. It's a sweet hunt on here last day in Texas, last evening. Finally get it done. I'm trying to get it done with the bow, but when it comes down to it, rifles are, are how you actually get shit killed. So got a nice little spot stalking. We stalked up through that uh, thick cover with the sun at our back. And uh, looking from here, you can see why the animals couldn't really see us. We did have bear singa barking at us, uh, alarm barking, so kind of rushed the shot a little bit after taking a look at all those oryx. But yeah, sweet last day. Gonna get some, hopefully get some nice meat out of this guy. Uh, the first shot must have came out here. I thought he was hit hard, but second shot for sure was this one. Quartering two, so he entered and came out there. It's a good shot. Great animal. Great memory here with my brother behind the camera. Spent a five day hunt here down in Texas. So yeah, just loving it. Loving life. And I uh, guess gonna have to get to work. Maybe we can try to get another one here before in dark, but we probably blew out the whole area. Maybe we can sit here and hope for a pig. But yeah, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. We sat until dark and nothing else came back out. But that didn't really matter as we already had this excellent audit on the ground and my brother and I were able to spend time together just bullshitting on the shore of this watering hole. Our time in Texas was over, but this experience will live on, shared together through the mind's eye and immortalized by the lens of the camera. The permanence of the internet has always intrigued me. Once you put something out there, you gotta be damn sure you're never gonna take it back. With that being said, I have one thing to say to my brother. I love you. I'm glad I got to share this experience with you. Until next time. Are we only half alive?